Hey there, Pipti here. Welcome for another short tutorial about minus 3 version 6 logic. This time I would like to show you a simple way to generate random variables. This is pretty cool, I like random variables a lot. Um, and it's not obvious how to get them, but here's the trick. So first of all, we need a new variable. And we need the variable to be... Um, what is it called? I need to look it up real quick. Oh yeah, it's called time. So we're going, there's there's a variable which is always there. It's the current time in milliseconds. And we are going to like just bind it. We are going to call it random. It's not random yet, but we're going to make it random. And the next instruction is we need to do an operation. Namely, we want to say that random is uh, the random thing. So we could have skipped this set instruction. Honestly, you could have used time here but I'm just going to do this this way. And then let's say you want to have a variable between 0 and 99 included. So you need to do it like this. This is called the modulo operator. And basically what it's going to do, it's going to um, see how many times does 100 fit into this random variable. And then it's going to, to give you the rest. So if random is 320, it's going to give you it's going to say, okay, I can put 100 once, twice, thrice in there. Okay, so the rest is 20. So then the result will be, the random variable will be 20. And this is a really nice way to get, not really random, but what's like for all practical purposes, close enough to random. We can also show it. Let's see, let's try to print it. We can try to print random and we can flush it to message one. The only thing is missing, we don't have a message one here. And what I expect it to do is, yeah, you see it's, it's hard to see, but it's kind of jumping between n numbers with one digit and two digits. Let's delete it like real quick, 72. Um, if you want numbers between zero and 10, you would divide by 10, <laughs> well, between zero and nine, because the 10 is not included, you know, it's the rest. If you want random numbers between 0 and 9, you would divide, you would modulo by 10. And you can uh, use this in your scripts to have some random-like behavior. I hope it helps. Have fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!